Well, good morning, everybody from the racing club, all members. Um, just thought we'd do a quick video of our new fella, obviously the well-known and well-respected Roswell Iceman. He's done terrific for us so far, winning his last two two races at Toaster, and um, you know, effectively Derby Trial Stakes, and uh, he's done really well. And uh, you know, he's been a tremendous little addition to to our club. Obviously, got to thank Kevin Herbert who give us a chance to buy this dog and he's exactly the sort of dog that we was talking about a couple of months ago that could be a derby entry for the racing club and um, he's bang on course for that we're, we're just a little over um, four weeks of, away now from the first round of the derby and uh, this lovely lovely specimen of a greyhound is uh, a definite entry for us and uh, um, if he carries on doing well um, we might even hold hopes of having some having a dog that can go quite deep into the into this uh, fantastic uh, event that's now been staged at Toaster. As you can see, he's just a absolutely brilliant um, looking greyhound here. He's, he weighs in a, a, a tremendous 37 kilos, and um, you know most of this is is being an older dog is is pure muscle and. Um, you know, you couldn't wish to see a better looking dog. And uh, we're, we're more than pleased to have um, be, be keeping them in the kennel. And, uh, you know, we've probably got the rest of this year with him. Um, and maybe a bit of next year if, if, he, if he can still run well. But, um, you know, he's had 42 races altogether. And uh, he's won his two for us. The last two quite quite impressively shown that trademark early pace you'd expect from a Shane Boy Lee dog, and uh, you know although he's over three years old, he, he's 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 still got loads left in him, and after the Derby, we can have a look at competitions again like the East Anglian Derby. He, he trolled particularly well round there last year, doing an incredible 27:40, which not many dogs do. Unfortunately, he didn't get the best of runs in the in the heats and got knocked out. But um, he's uh, he, he's definitely a dog that can still get to Category One finals for us, and uh, we should have a lot of fun with him this year. As I say again, lovely lovely white and black dog, but got beautiful nature. He is. Um, I know when uh, um, Howard from the racing club comes down and walks his fella. Um, he so much looks forward to, to, to meeting people and he's as friendly as he as you can get. And uh, the members that have turned up at Toaster on the podium when he's won the last two weeks, again, he loves all the fuss and attention. And uh, he's just a, one beautiful dog. Hopefully, um, you know, we, we, can, we can get a good run in this derby. Nothing would please us more if he did get a run. And... Uh, we're not that far away so he'll run a toaster um, over the next three weeks and this Saturday he, he, he's going to have another good chance of adding to his tally of wins there um, if he can continue trapping in his best style and that's always been his Achilles heel and that was one of the things that frustrated his former owner was, was that his trapping ability let him down so many times that it became a bit frustrating but uh, if, if he does continue to keep trapping then, then we've got a great chance of, of, of going really well.